That's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. What's up, guys? And welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kels here, and we have another juicy uh video. <laughs> you are new here welcome if you are not welcome back and if you're wondering what you're gonna see on this here channel let me tell you you're gonna see fashion luxury travel lifestyle and all around joy why because joy is life and life is living and that is what we plan to do okay okay guys okay okay get you a drink um this is a little bit of apple juice this is apple juice this is only apple juice. It's my jingle juice. My, you can't even see what you yeah, you can see. It says jingle juice on it. So, hoo, hoo. let me just get into this. This is story time. You are going to flip your wig, lose your wig. Oh my gosh, I could not believe this is. You know what? Growth, growth. Okay, that's all I can say. Um, okay, let's go back. Oh, well, as a young girl, I always had thick hairs okay i went through the whole relaxer thing if you are a black woman you probably understand what i'm talking about went through the relaxer phase um it thinned my hair out you know my hair was like long but thin uh so that was, that was the whole thing i went natural at at one point um and as i was going natural and cutting off my hair my friend wore wigs and she was like, are you wear a wig? And I was like, no, wigs are for people who don't have hair. Like I, I was young, I was in college. So please spare me. Okay. Spare me. I was in college. Wigs are for people that don't like have hair for real. Like why would I wear a wig? I'm so young. That's for older people. I didn't know anything. Okay. I didn't know anything. Let's just, let's just say what it is. Um, but then I, when I, when I got like my first little wig, I was like, oh, this is, oh, this is fun. Now, oh, now I love a good wig, honey. I love a good I have a wig in this color. I have a wig in this color, I believe. I have a purple one. I have a blue, like, I have one in like a little color like this. I love a good wig because she could look, she could just, I just mentioned my look. Oh, you want me to have like a, 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 a blue pixie cut? Done. Tomorrow. See you then. Um, great for photo shoots also. So like, I, I enjoy that. I love doing locks and locks in blue which i've done um i like doing braids and twists and big hair straight hair like bang no bang like i i, I like to mix it up okay so at this point i i was not really used to the mixing up part got me a little wig i was like oh my god <laughs> did we know anything about wigs were lace fronts a thing i don't know if they were but what did i know i didn't have one so it didn't matter so fast forward to, I don't know if it was my third year college, my junior year, my fourth year, one of these years, I'm taking dance class. Dance class is always coming from my throat. Now that I'm reflecting, I'm in dance class. And of course, I'm the only chocolate baby in that class. So we're doing leaps across the stage. And this is, I think, before, did the, did the wigs have combs? Maybe they have a comb. I, I don't know, it was a cheap wig. It looks cute, but it was a cheap wig. Y'all know that good like Amazon wig. It was like that and sometimes they don't have combs but they look nice, but they're cheap so they don't put a lot of stuff in it. So I was in my little black, you know, leotard and my tights and we're doing our leaps and stuff. And I feel the little strap in the back go, now if you know, you know, you know. If you know, you know, okay? For those of you like, what strap? The wig's got straps in the back, okay? There's straps in the back of the wig. It goes, it helps cinch it in like a corset, okay? So they sometimes can just come undone. Sometimes the things come undone and they, they're they like stuck in my own hair and that is painful. That is really painful. So I heard that, but I was like, oh, the other one is fine. I think I had like a wrap or something. I had, I don't know, but I was like, oh, I'm fine. It's just a little snappity snap. What am I gonna do? Just like cry over it? Oh, what I should have done was go on to the back, like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom, or run to the back or something and relatch that bad boy. But I was like, clearly overconfident and had way too much trust in this here 
strappity strap. It was my turn, <clears throat> my little tiny self. Oh, my little self. I was like, come on, little self. And I was like, all right, let's go. And I'm like, and sashay and leap and leap and leap. In that second leap, because you know, it takes a minute to realize that second leap, I had leapt, but my wig was like, I think we're going to stay here. I think we're going to, I think we're going to, I think we're going to hang out right here though. Like you keep going, but we are going to stay here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like repicturing it and I'm laughing because it was funny. Um, in the very, in the moment, in the moment, moment, it wasn't funny. The moment after and the moments after were funny. And so I leapt and my wig came off, baby. She was back there and I was like flying like a swan. I was swanning. Do, wait, do swans fly? You know what I mean. I was I was taking flight like a bird, okay? Bird of prey. We're out here looking cute, okay? And my wig was back there like, we're clocking out for 10 minutes. and But they didn't tell me. My wig didn't tell me. So I turned around and it must have been a good 10 seconds. Maybe it was five seconds. But I turned around so quick and I snatched that girl up. I gave her one. Whoa, you know when you give a little. Whoa, I placed her back on this here head. Because what I was not going to do is give anyone the satisfaction of seeing me run through that door in embarrassment. Because that means I can't, ever, I can't finish the class. I can never come back. There is no more coming to this class ever, ever again. Like, that's it. So I was like, we're just going to keep moving. No one said a word. I didn't want anyone to think I was a victim because I didn't want to hear, oh my God, are you okay? Nope. We just, all right, let's go. Come on. Who's next? Leap, leap, leap. My turn. Now, granted, I was careful with my next few leaps. So I was like, what I'm not about to do is go through this again. But I made it through. I made it through the rest of the semester. No accidents, no anything. Um, uh, and I told my friend and we were alive. She's like, girl, what did you do? I was like, I picked that up and put it back on. I'm like, what? Because I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. So what else am I going to do? She said, I would have died. She's like, I would have left that class. I never went back. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, for a second. I consider that. I consider that. But I was like, no, you are not going to defeat me. You're not going to do it. All right. Now, fast forward some years. I've moved on. I have gotten my degree. I've moved to different places. I've seen different things. I am now in another dance class. Okay. So I have learned my lesson for, for a good minute here. Okay. I learned my lesson for a good minute here. I'm like, we're always, we're always combed in. We're always, you know, pinned in. So in dance class, my hair was up. I had a little wrap on, so it was, it was it was up and it was wrapped and the combs were in. Like I felt like everything was everything was set. I'm doing some trick upside down, okay? I'm just gonna get straight to it. I'm doing the trick upside down. And I'm like sliding down and I'm kind of like, and I like land the trick and I'm like, yes! And I do a little bow to myself. Cause we're all just kind of doing a free time thing. And my wig and the wrap, mind you, slide from right here. Ooh, when she took a bow herself she bowed she was like oh my turn and she bowed right there in front of me she's like excuse me i need my own bow back up let me bow so i was like yes girl you did it you conquered the move good job good job i'm proud of myself everyone's doing their own thing music is playing i'm hyped up and watch i you know i bowed to myself like yes girl you did that you're a queen you're strong i bow and she said let me bow too and what did I do? I snatched her up. And the bathroom was actually a lot closer. So I snatched her up because I was like, this is going to be uh, interesting to get back in my head. But I was like, here I go. And I just walked to the bathroom. And I was like, let me readjust. So maybe, maybe a comb came out, you know. Maybe, I don't know. I went back in there. I readjusted everything. Make sure it was nice and tight, you know. Came back out. And my friend, she was like right next to me. She's like, why are you being foolish? <laughs> She's like, girl. And I don't think I don't think a lot of people saw because we was all doing our own thing. But again, did I did I leave? No. Did I run away? No. Did I finish my class? Yes, I did because I paid my monties. So I'm going to finish my class. And it was really good. Um, and I've taught I taught a couple classes too. So she was like, "Why are you so foolish?" And I was like, "Girl, sometimes 
things happen and we went back to polling and I went back you know years later months later all that like I never stopped going until like I have an injury so I'm trying to fix that um but yeah she slid off she took her she had a, it was a standing ovation she took her out and I had to scoop her up because she was being obnoxious I scooped her up when the bathroom fixed her up and then got back to hitting it on the pole yeah like that with full vigor too I was like I'm not holding back because I'm just not I feel like most people would be like dying of embarrassment would you die of embarrassment if this was you because I feel like I'm so like not that I don't get embarrassed I do but some things I'm just like baby what am I gonna do go back in time like I can't go back in time it, it, it is what it is you know the wigs have come off or maybe I just don't care because like what are you gonna say to me like what are you gonna do like you're not like oh my god wig <laughs> like we're not 12 you know um so and then one time I thought about just shaving my head and wearing wigs anyways that seems like the most embarrassing thing that can happen no there's probably worse <laughs> there's probably worse but it feels like it's up there top five top ten at least for women um to have a wig fly off and leap off and take bows but I feel like I'm okay like or I have been okay okay not to tell y'all on the internet who is even gonna watch this Shh. this is just between you and me nobody else um but yeah y'all that's what happened all right friends has anything like this ever happened to you have you lost a wig have you had your skirt tucked into your underwear have you had a, a a pad stuck to the bottom of your shoe like what is your story i would love to know so i don't feel alone you know i want to feel like i have people that know what i'm going through that share some of this embarrassment did you keep going did you just keep marching to the beat of your own drum or did you run out crying or run out hysterical? Did you disappear? No one ever saw you again. Let me know. I really, really want to know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and duh, subscribe because you know you want to see more. And share with a friend because sharing is caring. All right. Bye, y'all.